Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. Now, if you see this recording, what we did, we passed the material number, industry sector, material type, description, and unit of measurement. And this internal table has the legacy data. So whenever this recording will call for each and every record of legacy, you can see every time the material number is P2 material, every time the material type is raw material, Every time industry sector is pharmaceutical, every time description is test material, every time the unit of measurement is each. If I have one crore records in this internal table, what you are doing every time we are passing the same material, we are passing the same industry sector, same material type, same description and same unit of measurement. But this is not correct because these five column values are coming from your file. file. We did the sample recording to create a material, but ultimately these five column data we should pass from the file, we should pass from the Excel, else it will always create the material this and we will always once it will this material is already created. So we will get an error simply that why you are creating the same material again and again. So we need to pass the data, we need to pass the data rather than hard coding these things. Now we know one by one the record is going to work area. One by one the record is going to the work area. So we will pass the reference from the work area. How I will pass? I will simply write work area hyphen matina. I will write work area hyphen mbrsh i will write work area hyphen mtart i will write work area hyphen maktx because these five columns our data is from the legacy now ls data hyphen MEIS. I will check the syntax and activate. So we pass the five column values. Now we will proceed further. I will come on to now various methods of BDC. We have three methods of BDC. First method is call transaction method. Second method is session method. And the third method is direct input method. What we did so far in our program, we did the recording, we transfer the recording to the program, we uploaded the file, we read the data of the file, we call the recording inside the loop. These are the common steps which you have to do in the call transaction method also, session method also. Up to this level, you have to do. After that, you have to go for either call transaction method to upload the data or the session method to upload the data. So if you are going for call transaction method or if you are going for session method, these are the common thing you have to do up to this level. After that, you can use call transaction method 
or you can use session method to upload that data into SAP. At the last, we will cover direct input method also, but direct input method is totally independent of recording. We will not go for any recording or something. That's why I'm saying you are going for call transaction or you are going for session, any method you can use, but you have to do all these things. Now, firstly, I will use the call transaction method. Then I will go for session method. And at the last, we will go for full understanding. What is the difference between these two types of method? And at the last, we will go for direct input method also. Now, we will go for call transaction method now. Now, I will go for the syntax of call transaction method. What is the syntax of call transaction method? Call transaction. You are calling the call transaction method inside the loop because we have to call MM01 transaction for each and every record. We want to create the material. So what is our transaction code? Call transaction. What is our transaction code? MM01. Now, after that, I will write using. Now, I will write using LT underscore BDC data. Now, the question comes, what is this LT underscore BDC data and why you are writing in using? This is the most, most important understanding and maximum people will do the mistake here. Now, we will see. Suppose first legacy record is going to work area. If from the internal table, we are passing to work area. Control will go into this first subroutine. And in the first subroutine, in the first subroutine, you are appending that data to which internal table? LT underscore PDC data. After that, control will go to second subroutine. You are appending the data to which internal table? Same internal table, LT underscore BDC data. Again, the BDC field will call. You are appending the data to which internal table? LT BDC data. It means Whenever this all subroutines will call, whenever this all perform will call, ultimately we are appending that data to which internal table? LT underscore BDC data. Now, what data is going into this internal table? We will understand. And that is the important understanding. Just remember, when we did the recording of MM01, what is the screen which we went? 60 number screen. You are passing these values to which internal table? LTBDC data. After that, what you did? You simply put the cursor, you pass the material value, you pass the material you pass the material number, industry sector, material type. You went to screen number 70. You pass the description. You pass the unit of measurement. Ultimately, you are passing all those things to which internal table? LT underscore BDC data. It means in this internal table, each and every step of the recording is going. We went for a screen. We passed the material number. We passed the industry sector. Every, everything we are passing to which internal table? LT underscore BDC data. So in this internal table, we have all recording steps are going. 
that's why we are using this internal table maximum people will simply cram the thing and they will use this internal table this internal table has your legacy data we are calling that transaction mm01 and we want to perform the steps we want to perform the steps for each and every material and which internal table all recording steps we are appending in this particular internal table now rest part of this method we will continue in the next video thank you